What up, what up? Welcome to Madhouse Pro. Madhouse Pro in the building. This is my building, so if you don't like it, you can get out. Hey, hey, man, hey, get your dog, man. Hey! Yo, 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 welcome to Madhouse Pro. I'm in the building. If you don't like it, you can get out, because guess what? It's my building. Hey, so today I'm going to reach out to all my Apollo Twin users, the UAD product. Uh, I have the UAD uh, Apollo Twin Silver, the first one that came out back in 2015, 16, or 17. I don't know. It came out back in the day, but it's the first one, the Thunderbolt Edition, right? But I'm using it on a Windows system, and uh, I see a lot of people having this issue, you know, to where they can't use OBS and listen to the sounds and everything. So today... I figured it out. So I'm going to share with everybody else who's been trying to get this Apollo Twin to work on the Windows system good. Thank me later. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, the most important thing, though, that you have to remember, and I found out the hard way, you got to read the documentation and understand what they're talking about. So I'm going to go through some simple steps. Uh, bear along with me. Just ride out. Guarantee that it just about work on any system. This is Windows system. Apollo Twin on the Windows system. I'm using Sampler 2 Pro X. Uh, let's go. So the first thing we go do is um, uh, download the software. Most people, you know, they may be looking like, hey, what the heck is going on? So you go here, UA, UAudio, UAD. You download the latest software, right? You download it, you install it. With this software, you get the uh, console, and then you also get the book that come with everything. Trust me, you, you would need it. You need to read it because that's how I learned what I learned. So next thing you need to do is configure your windows, right? So we're going to go up in here. We're going to go to the control panel. We're going to go to sound. You got to make sure your uh, system is correct. Uh, right down here, you can see that's my audio interface, Universal Audio Thunderbolt for the windows. Uh, they got some settings that you need to set uh, from the book. Recording, I have to turn this microphone off, but you can enable it. Disenable it. I have mine disabled because I'm using OBS. I'm going to show you how everything come together. Just kind of bear with me. Trust me, man. I know people have been looking for this for years. And it's all about configuration. So uh, the next step, all right, so you download the software. You configure your windows. Now you got to configure your DAW. All right, so let's get into the DAW. I'm using Sampler 2 Pro X, the Sweet Edition. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you gotta, how you got to have it configured. All right, first thing first, audio setup. I used to have to use the FL Studio ASIO. That's the only way it would work for some reason. But uh, after figuring everything out, I figured I had my uh, my setup was incorrect. So the next step you want to do is go down here, Universal Audio Thunderbolt. Once again, I'm on the Windows PC, y'all. That's the platform. This right here is the, one of the most important things that helped me understand what's going on. So it's this little slider right here where you get the slide in between uh, how you want to use your Apollo Twin. I used to have it all the way to the right thinking it was the best, right? But that's only if I'm using Sampler 2 only to do my software listening or software monitoring. That's meaning that the software, hence Sampler 2 Pro X Suite, will handle the inputs and outputs of all the software. Reading a document from Universal Audio, they said switch this to hardware. I was like, oh, right here, HW, hardware equals monitoring and, and sound card, no latency. So that's zero latency. So everything would go directly through the Apollo Twin, not through my software and back to the Apollo Twin. So that used to give you a little bit of that double tap of that, um, that doubling of the voice. You know, when you read the documentation, if you don't want that, make sure you switch it. The documentation said that. So I did that, and I was like, it opened the whole door for me for everything. So I'm going to click OK, right? My audio driver is the Thunderbolt, right? So I have the uh, Thunderbolt 2 with the adapter for my last computer because it had Thunderbolt 3. Now I kept that same adapter. I'm up to Thunderbolt 4, but I'm not using it. I don't think it's supported yet. So, But it's running 2 on this system just fine. So this is configuring my uh, software, right? So let me go ahead. I just open up a new project. We'll do eight channel mono. No, we'll do stereo, right? All right. So 
I got to continue to uh, configure this uh, software, right? All right, so you can hit I on the computer on a, for Sample 2 Pro. Go down to System Settings. You want to make sure everything installed correctly. So you go to Audio Device, right? So record my microphone, 1 and 2. I can use my Apollo Twin. All this is Apollo Twin. My playback, 1 and 2. Monitor left and right. Line 3 and 4. Virtual 1 and 2. This is the output. This is very important because this is going to allow you to play your system without having to have that FL Studio ASIO driver. You would use your virtual channel to route it through console, which is the software that comes with your UAD Apollo Twin. That is so very important. It helps out a lot. So we're going to get past this. So now that we know we got this set up, this is configured correctly. Next step we got to do is we got to go to UAD console. So we're going to close this. Keep this open, but you go right down here to the bottom right. This is the Windows system. Uh, UA Audio. Once you click that, now you see that my mic is set up, right? My mic is naturally hooked up there, so that's no problem. But for my virtual channels 1 and 2, you got to make sure everything is correct. So you got to go to settings. And when you click settings, I'm going to move this over. You got your hardware, which it shows you my Apollo Twin. Here go my digital outputs, line 3 and 4 reference. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the IO matrix. All right, and this IO matrix right here, this sets up everything else, right? Right here, here's your inputs, here's your outputs. We are dealing with outputs, right? So when you come over here, you got 10 channels that say output, virtual one and two outputs, which are these channels right here. If you click this, you can link them by clicking the link button. I just unlinked them by clicking, but I'm gonna relink them by clicking link. Now those channels are linked together as in stereo, right? So now UAD Apollo Twin is set up for the virtual channels, right? So that's the that's the biggest step. So now, as you can see though, my microphone is right here. It's coming through the system, right? You're gonna need this and it's gonna mix in with your virtual channel in a minute to allow you to talk. So everything is pretty much running through console. Well, Windows and console, but you're running everything concurrently, right? So now that we got this configured, Let's get back to the uh, Sample 2 Pro X, right? Now, um, what, what you basically want to do is uh, set it up correctly, right? I got all these lined up on my monitor. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so, uh, this is a new channel. Uh, first thing you want to do is set all your stuff we're going to click on one channel. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard and we'll just go all the way down. We'll go all the way down to 16, right? Now you want to set your output to go to the main mix, right? So we're going to set everything to go to virtual channels 1 and 2, right? I, I may get feedback. Uh, this thing's at the subject. Uh, uh click no so everything changes right there five and six what does five and six look like five and six are my virtual channels right here they show you right down here at the bottom my virtual channels are five and six one and two right so if we go over to ua the, the uh, console right we ain't got nothing hitting yet on channels one and two because we're just using the microphone so let's put an audio track on one of these channels, right? So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to unarm all those. They all got armed when I created them, but let's scroll down. So I'm going to click click number one, file, and I'm going to import a track, right? Uh, import a track. Let's see. I think we'll use that one. <laughs> Yeah, so we go click Delta. Now, <clears throat> we got everything set. Let's go to OBS. I'm going to bring OBS over in the picture so you guys can see something, right? Don't get dizzy. Now, so we're going to hit play. All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see what's going on, 
All right, we got five and six, right? Channel five and six, when you click this, when it's set up right, it goes into the virtual channels one and two, right? One and two, the virtual channels, which is on the UA console. So we're going to open up console, right? Here's virtual channel one and two. This is for your OBS setup. This acts as your, uh, your ASIO, UA audio, UAD audio acts as your ASIO, right? So I'm going to bring this over. So as y'all can see me talking, we're picking up right here on the mic. When console, which is set, I'm going to show you the settings for console. You hit properties, uh, Thunderbolt, mono, virtual one. This is important, virtual one or virtual two. Here go your channels right here. You're not getting nothing until we hit, uh, we got it routed the correct way. So once I go up in here, let me do this, and I hit play. That's five and six channel right there. This is the out. Five and six, virtual one and two, right? So when I move this down and we go back to console, or your virtual one and two, there you go. You had it right there. You in there, right? So you can move this out the way. Everything is set up correctly, right? That's uh, over here. So let me show you a little bit more. So now I can control how much volume you guys ain't, you shouldn't be hearing nothing, just the microphone volume from the monitors. But when I pull this up, you got louder than me. Just monitoring everything. So turn that about right there. So now you got everything popping, y'all. This is how it's done. This is how it works. It's all about routing and knowing what the route. So let me stop this for a minute. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about routing and knowing how to use your software. So this is the OBS setup. Remember that. When you go in there, you set everything up for OBS to work through the virtual channels. Your virtual channels act as your ASIO. You will no longer need FL Studio ASIO to run your uh, software or your hardware. But the thing is, you will need UAD console. If you use that UAD console, guess what? That's going to act. It's going to act the correct way. You make sure you got your hardware set as your monitoring, which is your Apollo Twin. So when you do that, that's good. If you get stuck, go back in the video. If I skip some or you miss something, hit me up. Drop me a note down there, and I will uh, do my best to get back to you guys. But, hey, this is Madhouse Pro. Thanks for watching, y'all. Stay blessed. Oh, by the way, that's a rap this is a Rap-A-Lot track from um, Tila back in the day. No, I did not do it. I'm not taking no credit, but it's a dope beat. I imported it over so you guys can hear me talk and hear the beat. Let me turn the beat back up. Dope beat, though, straight up. Turn up a little more. All right, y'all, stay blessed. This is Madhouse Pro TV.